Alrighty, what is up, VOD gang? It's been a couple of days, and I had been um, really wrestling around with the concept of what I wanted to do for the rest of Pokemon Violet. If I would keep it to myself and just, you know, play through the rest of the game and everything like that. But the thing about it is, is that there's two things. One, this run has had some memorable moments. A very particular uh, memorable moment that comes to mind is just winning it by a hair. Um, we did win, um, but we um, lost half of our party basically in the process. But per the rules that I basically set out, um, we didn't really lose anyone. I was like, look, here's the thing. If the game, if we finish the run now, then great. But here's the thing. If we lose, then we don't have the possibility of making another team anyway. So anything that we lose in the last battle, or if we would have lost at the Elite Four, we're just keeping. And like the Nuzlocke rule will be dead. But we won. Um, the, um, the team is in retirement now. And I'm going to tell you exactly what all we have left to do. Um, we have two members of Team Star. Probably the two strongest members of Team Star. And we then have um, the Way Home and the eventual Ace Tournament. So, you guys may look at the description of this video and be like, Team Martyr? What? What do you mean, Team Martyr? Well, the thing is, is that there were a good bit of Pokemon that didn't make it all the way to the end that I personally really liked. And um, so what we did was we made a team. Well, I made a team of those Pokemon. The ones that were the most memorable, um, that I liked the most, and whose time came a little too early. So, let's, let's call them out. And they all have a little something cool to them. They are all in luxury balls, but let's go down the fucking lineup first. We have Dave. Dave is now a Sawbuck. So that's gonna be awesome. We got Hero, who eventually um, we got to a Mabastiff. We got Uwu, who ironically died in the um, electric gym. We got Steve over here, and I was just really starting to like Steve. We got Syndragoza, um, the dragon that never was. And finally, we have my boy here, Broly. And he fucking loves me. And the thing is, is that I know that you may look at some of these um, choices and you may be all like, man, you got some tight gaps and everything like that. It's like, yeah, but the thing is, is that that was an issue that we had anyway. So we're going to deal with it and we're going to see if we can make it all the way to the end, make it to the ace tournament and beat the ace tournament with a team of unfortunate deaths. They are all now in luxury balls, so there is a chance that before the end, they could gain some friendship bonuses. But, the thing is, is I really wanted to um, get... I really wanted to get uh, Violet done in particular, or at least one save of it done, because I may play through the game again. Like, I may do another Nuzlocke run. And here's um here's an interesting little tidbit. Um, 
if you make another profile on your Switch, um, you can make another um, save for Pokemon, and you can use Pokemon Home to basically transfer Pokemon between um, between games. Which I like. I understand that that's not useful now, but in the future it will be. Like they said, it's gonna be around spring whenever it happens and everything like that but it's it's fine for right now um so yeah that's what we're doing is we are going to we're gonna try to beat this um i'm gonna start up a save on either um scarlet or violet i'm not sure which yet um i'm probably gonna double check like the little the little list of exclusives that there are and I'm going to make my uh, mind up there, and we will probably try a Terra Lock. But um, I do want to try to get back into more variety, so I think I'll do... I think I'll do World of Warcraft, and I'll also do... Um, what else? Um, I'll probably do Warframe, because it's only... It is right now only a matter of time before they drop the biggest update ever in the Deviri Paradox. So I need to make sure that I'm in a good spot with resources. I need to do farming so that I can um, go ahead and get some platinum up so that whenever um, some inevitable... Oh no, cringe. What you talking about, Zach? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you talking about? She. Yeah, we're, uh... We're gonna beat this game with a team of martyrs <laughs> that died so that we could finish the, uh, the Nuzlocke run. The, uh, the team that beat the Elite Four is now retired. But we don't have much left to go. It's just, I really want to see if they can make it all the way to, um, the, uh, the Ace Tournament. Because there are some, uh, gaps in the team. But, we're gonna give it a shot anyway. Let's see. We don't have a direct answer for, um, the Pokemon. And we actually have th half of our team is weak to fairies but the thing is is that half of our team is neutral to fairies so that's how we're going to solve this problem so let's go ahead and get on in here and see what we can do all right let's see code red code red let's see everyone getting positions Get ready to get your ace whooped. Okay, defeat 30 of Team Stars. I wonder if we can actually check out, like, what level everything is. Now, it doesn't seem like, um, the, um, the, what do you call it? The, um, the, uh, aiming is working. Okay, there we go. That's good. That's good. Ooh, that's not gonna be good. Well, maybe. We'll see. Ooh. One of our boys got, uh... Our boy got, uh, knocked out. That's not good. I'm not gonna lie. That's a little, uh, disheartening. But yeah, like, fighting... Or, not fighting, but, uh, fairy type is, uh, something that I never really, uh, consider... Um, because I'm, like, fighting t or, wait a minute, fairy type, what do you, like, what is fairy type good against? Dragon? And then it's like, oh, they're also good against, um, fighting. Because, you know, fighting doesn't already have enough stuff against it, so let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, so dark type too. That would explain something. <laughs> oh, God. It's fine though. We're gonna we're gonna find a way to make it through. I'll make it through for them to you. Follow me. Oh yeah. 
can't stick around this is of every return gotta trust your feelings gotta live and learn oh shit it's all right hero it's okay I want you on the team and we're not gonna let you uh, we're not gonna let you just sit there you go fucker suck on that how about that yeah yeah, asshole. Okay, we're good. We're good. I forgot who we put up in front. It's all up to the boss now. So let's see if I made a terrible mistake or not. Hmm. My beard is looking extra luxurious today. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Uh... God, Ortega. Heir to the Ortega Green Chili's empire. That's how we got all this money. Let's see. Fairy types are all about cuteness. I know they're not all about cuteness. They are um, the scariest fucking type to deal with, pretty much. Because the one type that you would usually associate with, oh, just go in there and wreck shit, does absolutely nothing to it. Okay. Promise I'll play nice, but don't blame me when this battle sends you blubbering back home. Bitch! I'm about to fuck this shit up. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna get Dave in here. Dave's gonna fucking wreck house. Come on, Dave. Key you up. Ooh, Dave with the juke. Okay, so what do we... Yeah, we could probably get away with Horn Leech. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Dave. Uh-oh. You son of a bitch. Okay, so Dave is there. Or, well... Let's, yeah, let's get Uwu in there. Oh man, I forgot, flying good against fighting. It's fine though, this is the team that I chose. Ooh, oh okay, so fun fact, uh, flying um, is neutral against electric and uh, fighting. I didn't know that, but it makes sense though because electric is super effective against uh, uh, flying, so I guess that makes it neutral. Hello there! How are you? I am doing good. I am trying to win with a team of Pokemon that, um, that basically died during a Nuzlocke. <laughs> The Redemption Arc, basically. That's what I should have named the stream. I should have just referred to it as the Redemption Arc. Like, that's probably what I'll name the uh, archive. Christmas. Oh, Jesus. Yes, it is Christmas. Holy shit, phone. All right, let's see if I can... Yep. Yeah! Oh, you fucking bitch. Okay. I'm stealing your HP. Give me that. I wonder if I can actually win this. Where am I from? Over in... Uh, I am from the south. That is about as... Uh, that is about as... Um, I guess much detail as I will give at the moment. Let's see, got poison? I'm gonna see how much I can do. Oh shit, wait. Ah, oh, didn't get the chance. Fuck. No! Okay, who is it gonna be now? Okay. Um, yeah, that might 
might work. Yeah, let's go with Dave. Come on, Dave. Okay. Well, at least have a taste of these slick moves you handle by Pokemon's adorable strength. All right. I appreciate that, man. That's awesome. Oh, shit. All right. Come on. Yeah! Oh, is this gonna be where you... Is this gonna be the part where I get a whole bunch of, uh, random, uh, like... Oh, man, you can do all this. Ah, oh, shit. No! Dave! Dave. No, Dave. Um... Hmm. Um... <laughs> maybe, maybe some, uh, maybe some other time, man. I guess, uh, if you find me on, uh, if you find me on, uh, Twitter, which should be in my bout, you can, you can DM me there, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, come on. Yeah, there we go. Hero doing it. All right. Now we only have the rev room itself to deal with. What the heck? My team is on the ropes. Yeah, your team's on the ropes. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if I can make this work. I doubt it, but it would be so cool if I could. Sorry, bud. Now I feel bad. Okay. Um. Yeah, this this should work. Should be the key word. Steve. Oh wait a minute. We just got hit by a steel move, so we'll see how well this works out. We are a little underleveled for this by like six levels. But then again, Steve's supposed to be a slow boy no matter what. Yeah, salt cure! Now you get damaged every fucking turn. How about that? Suck my ass. Uh oh. There it is! Ooh. He snapped out of confusion. Yeah. All right. I'll take a look at it later, man. But right now, I'm fighting for my goddamn life. Oh well, I can't. I can't promise how fast I'll it's actually Christmas. get to it, but I'll see. Let's see. There we go. Mm. I'm just gonna throw rocks on you until you fucking die. We can use revives now because the Nuzlocke rule is off the table. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what this uh, fucking, um, what this is meant to be. 
You are not a man, you are a girl. Okay, then. It's Christmas! That's neat. Okay. Broly! You might be able to pull this shit off. It's a big maybe. Ooh. You fucking bitch. Yeah, I did this, um... I did this on, uh, on purpose. Like, I, uh, I put Life Orb on him because he has Drain Punch. And I'm like, whatever I lose, I should be able to just snatch back with Drain Punch, you know? Oh, but that... Yeah, he's six levels above us. So that makes sense. I thought that... Hmm... Eh, let's go ahead and send out Cinder Ghost. It can't hurt to do that because, I mean, she has a move that she can use. We'll just try it. Oh! She's faster. She can flinch. Oh, man. Okay, but she is still faster. That's shocking because she's six levels under. She's not fully evolved. And she's not, like, by design, she's not supposed to be fast. But she just want it for us, okay. <laughs> I got two people following me now. Who the fuck? Somebody retweeted me. What the hell? Let's see. How could I lose? What the heck? Because Team Martyr has nothing to lose and everything to gain. That's why. Okay. I think this is where we get play rough from. And if this... And if that's true, then... We may uh, start to have some options for how to uh, combat some of our team's weaknesses. Yeah, we, we know how the story goes. It turns out that nobody here is actually at fault. I think it would be pretty cool if they did a uh, follow-up DLC where, like, the guys that bullied these guys come back and they are like an actual evil team or something like that. And you gotta, um, and you gotta do like battles, like double battles with the rest of, um, like Team Star in order to take them down. Okay, Dazzling Gleam. Dang it. Ah, oh, well. That's right, piano lessons. That's right. Because he is the heir of a of a multi conglomerate green chili company, Ortega Chilies. TM. Yeah, I really need to see. Like, it's kind of weird. I, mm. let's see. So I have an option against fairy type Pokemon for um, Broly, and that is Poison Jab. Okay. I forgot if I have, hmm. Okay, that's right. I remember now. I have um I have something we're flying to. And then Ghost is something that, you know, he can solve himself just by, you know, being a ghost himself. 
Um, it's a little bit of everybody else I'm kind of curious about right now. Because we need to figure that out. Okay, now we get the mysterious message. It's me, I take it that, yep, he's, he did it. Even Ortega. Chilies. Yep. Yeah, something tells me that there's a possibility that, like, we go to a different spot or something like that. And, um, and basically what will happen is, um, what is it? Um, we'll find the, uh, bullies that actually bullied Team Star to the point where they did what they did. And, like they've been in hiding and everything like that and they're like we're gonna come back and we're gonna take we're gonna take down the entire school and um like we gotta take them out before they um decide to do their uh, plans or whatever like it would be awesome if like all of the dlc no matter how many it is all kind of groups together into one collective thing and I'm kind of wondering how many DLCs there actually do, because here's the thing, is I hope genuinely that this kind of formulaic game becomes the norm, because here's, here's something that I think people may not have thought about, is that this type of game is going to take more time to make. Like, if they don't want the quality... Like, I know that's kind of weird talking about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and talking about quality in the same sentence. But, like, here's the thing. If they don't want quality to slip very badly, they will not try to make one of these games every year. Like, they will take their goddamn time if they are smart. And they need to take their time. Um, so therefore, like, they may make um, a full-on um, four-part uh, season pass kind of deal. To where, like, we get a whole other four um, different stories. Like... I don't know exactly how it would relate to, like, possibly a new landmass or something like that. Like, here's the thing that I could easily see. We get two stories that have to deal with the new landmass, and we have two stories that have to deal with the original. Because I don't think they could create four different new landmasses. Like, all that are, like, as satisfying. So what was I going to do? Yeah. Okay, we're selling stuff. There we go. That's our... That's the ticket. And I wanted to see if there's a possibility that we may have unlocked the ability to make play rough play rough let's see no okay um where exactly would play rough be let's find out let's see just looking through sarah b real quick let's see that's draining kiss i think we already got that not, it's not a bad move, but it's not what we want. Okay. Yeah, Dazzling Gleam is what we just got, so that's from somebody. Guaranteed. 
Come on, play rough. Okay, play rough. Defeat Team Star Boss Airy. Or um, Eastern Province Area 1. Okay. Let's take a look at that on our map. Eastern Province Area 1. I'm kind of interested to see um, how we do against... Um... Okay, we'll just go... No, not quite. Yeah, we'll go near Artisan. Okay. Eastern Province Area 1. And it's TM 127. Okay. Just so I know which one to look for. TM. Let's see. 127. On a raised cliff in the northwest. Okay. I don't know my directions as far as west and east. Actually, hold on. Mm. Now it's become the quest of uh, looking for play rough. And I think, I think whenever we actually get it, like, we should get the crafting recipe off of that, right? I mean, you'd think. Because that's how it works for every other one. Ow. Let's see. You know, some that I just kind of thought about just kind of randomly was the interaction that I had just a minute ago. Um, if there are artists that legitimately want to, like, try to, you know, get in contact with people trying to do Twitch and stuff like that, you guys need to be a little bit more subtle. Like, don't make it seem like you were a, a spam caller or don't try to make it seem like you're reading off of a script because um that's what it kind of comes off as you kind of seeming like you reading off of a script just saying no need not trying to be mean just a little bit of a suggestion because um we know what uh we know what spam callers are like we all know what they're like. Okay, so it's on a raised cliff near a sand dial um, that has a uh, terra typing. So we got to find that. Oh, there are little bagons down there. Cool. Good to know. Good to know. So, by that logic, there should be Tyranitars around there, too. Who is this? Is this it? No. Fuck. Hmm. Oh, wait. Hold up. I can't tell if that's... Okay, I think this is an individual Pokemon. Oh, it's a Flareon! So if you want a, uh, a Flareon that just has um, the uh, Fire-type uh, Terra-type, uh, go there, because, um, fun fact, 
Eevee doesn't change its Terra type upon evolving. It is still normal. But I could see how that may help. Because, I mean, normal's not a bad Terra type. Because if you think about it... Ugh, Jesus. If you think about it... Hmm. We'll go this way. Okay. If you think about it, uh, if you have normal Terra type, you are only weak to one thing, and you completely resist, um, Ghost. Oh, shit. I wasn't looking for you, but I'll gladly pull you up out of the ground. I wonder if, um, I wonder if these things will tell you when, you know, you've pulled all of them out of the ground, or if it's just like, oh, hope you're keeping count, or whatever. Like, I really hope it's not one of those, to where it's like, oh, I hope you're keeping count of this, because, um, because, uh, we're not gonna tell you. Like, I could see it where they may do something like, oh, that's interesting. A little Dunsparce. A little Dunsparce with the extra terror type. I guess if you guys are looking for a guaranteed Dunsparce, you guys can always look there. Okay, on a raised cliff. Is this something? Fire spin. Okay. Take that. We're looking for a Sandile um, encounter. I think it's so weird that, like, the way that you would otherwise get play rough is if you defeat Airy. And, like, here's the thing. I get the fact that whenever you defeat um, a Team Star member, you get a whole bunch of different... Oh, okay. Okay. I was like, is that where one of the former, um, is that where one of the, uh, four legendaries is that have to do with those, um, little stakes and everything? Not quite. Not quite. Oh, hold up. This seems, this seems interesting. What is it? Power gem. Well, shit. Ooh! Another stake, and another... Okay, electric terrain. Feck! But we will take... We do take these. Because I haven't uh, caught any of the Pokemon that have to do with these in either game. I mean, obviously not in Violet, because I'm still going through Team Star stuff. Albeit only one member remains... But, like, still. Like, it's easily, um, like, they could easily be missed. Like, I wonder if anyone's actually been able to get all the, um, all of them on their own without looking up the location of any of them. And also, I wonder if there is some kind of notification, because, like, I think I think I was explaining it earlier, and then I got distracted by something. Like, I could understand if they were like, ooh, the ground's shaking, because you did the thing. And, like, that would be a way that I think they could uh, easily indicate, like, okay, it one of them's unlocked, go check. <laughs> Otherwise, how would you know? Unless, like, you are legitimately keeping track and you know how many there are. Let's see. Getting some little items from over here. Everything's appreciated. Everything helps us. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Um, something that I've been thinking about, I wonder... Um, I think I know what the ultimate, um, like, 
Oh, there we go. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and see what we can do. Does that mean that we can? I didn't see if we could create it or not. Like maybe that legitimately is just tied into um, into that particular uh, Team Star member. Let's see. Okay, 127. I remember it now. Okay, we got a pretty good amount of people that can learn this shit. That's really good, but who... The question is who... Okay. I think we teach it to Dave. At least first. Okay. Actually, nah. Dave doesn't need it because he has a move that's uh, super effective against fighting types. However, um, Hero does not have one. Hero has a pretty good little selection. Um, let's see. I'm not sure. Well, it's a good, um, let's see. There we go. Actually, hold on. Let me check something real quick. I just saw something kind of, kind of interesting. Weep. <laughs> see, there we go. I think, uh, I think somebody I uh, just met a day or two ago, um, she definitely loves to post on Facebook because Facebook was actually like, you can't post this much. <laughs> and I guess she got pissed off and she was like, well, I'll just make a new pro fucking profile. Whatever, bitch. <laughs> God, that's got to be aggravating, though. Let's see. And let's see. What else? Okay. Let's see where we are right now. I don't rightfully know if Uwu can learn anything to defend itself against a fairy type, but we can look and see real fast. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Palm, let's see. Um... I doubt he can learn anything poison, so we're probably looking for steel. Okay, can learn metal claw. Um, that's it, though. Mmm, that's a tough one. Um, that may just have to be, um, his cross to bear is that he can't really go up against, um, against, um, fairy types. Because the only thing that he can possibly learn to combat that is Metal Claw. And that is, um, that is not that good of a move to do that with. Um, yeah, that just may be, uh, his thing, um, or her thing. But, uh, Broly's good. Um, yeah, Cindergos is good. Um, eventually we're going to get Earthquake and probably Stone Edge for Steve. Um, yeah, good. And I think we're actually in a way better spot just because of the fact that, um, Hero got what he needed. Um, but I'm going to be right back in just a second. Quick bathroom break. And I will be right back and we'll get to the next um team star member more than likely
All right, and we are back. And uh, to answer your question, um, Zach, I don't really know. Like, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this until I'm not really feeling it, and then maybe I may try to play some uh, World of Warcraft after that. But for right now, I'm just kind of, just kind of chilling out on this. Like I said, the um, Nuzlocke rule stuff uh, ain't in effect anymore. I'm just trying to beat the game and have some fun while I do it and look around for some random stuff in places. Um, I'm going to see if I can find that other um, copy of uh, Play Rough real quick. Let's see. TM127. There we go. Okay, uh, South Province Area 1. South Province Area 1. Cliff South of Los Platos. That's actually uh, pretty easy it's to follow. Ah, oh, Jesus! Let's see. Do. Doot and doot doot doot. Okay. Um That's right. I um Las Platos. South of Las Platos. Where is Las Platos? Where is it? Where is, let's see, South Province Area 1, so it's right around there. Okay, Los Platos? Oh, okay. That's pretty early, but something tells me that the reason that it's here is because it's probably an area to where you couldn't get to it unless you had traversal abilities unlocked. But, out of curiosity, we're going to see if we unlock the ability to make it. We did. But, we can't do anything with it right now. So, that kind of sucks. And we don't even know the other uh, two Pokemon uh, things required to actually uh, even make it. So, there are two more copies of this TM. And we're going to go find them. Is this it? Is this literally it? It is. Wow. That's great. Okay. Okay. That's simple. Um, I'm gonna give this one to Uwu because Uwu needs a good attack. Like an attack that it's gonna stick with it for a bit. And what is Uwu, or not, Play Rust also? Oh, okay, may also lower the attack. Yeah, we're gonna have um, Play Rough on a lot of Pokemon. <laughs> um,. I think it can go with a bite for this. Okay. And where is copy number three? South Area Province 6. Ooh, whoops. South Area Province 6. Sounds familiar. South Area Province 6. TM-127. Okay. South Province Area 6. Okay. So, kinda around this-ish area. Let's see. And it says on a cliff on the eastern part of mountain. Okay. Let's see. 
So we're about as far south of this as we can possibly be. Let me see. Does this count as... Okay, so that's gonna be... So this is area one. Hmm. Eastern part of a mountain. Well, I mean, that's about the only mountain that I see. So, let's figure this out. Yeah, go away. We're not here for you. We're here for this mountain. And a TM. The last copy that you can just get. Okay. Come on. Come. Why won't you grab? You have the ability to grab. All right. Okay, maybe this is it. Maybe we can just call this one our early one. Hyper voice. Okay. I mean, I won't say no to that. Wee. 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 All right, well, I guess we'll go up. Okay. There we go. Ah. Yep, gliding into it is always a good bet. Okay. So we're... Hmm. Wonder what level all these are. Okay. Just was curious. Because, I mean, we were... Kind of up here. Ah. I wonder if at some point, uh, <laughs> like, I just had a really weird idea. Like, what if I did a stream where all I did was just watch, um, YouTube videos with people? Like, just chill out. And just talk about shit and just watch shit like Oni Plays or something like that. Or just watch like the newest shit in my feed. Like for some reason I just kind of want to do that. And just see how it goes. Icy Wind. Okay. Because I mean like they're... Like... Let me tell you where I'm coming from on that. Because the Djibouti boys... Um, on the Djibouti show, they watch, uh, compilations of, uh, retro commercials and stuff like that, and I'm like, well, I don't know if I would be able to really, like, do that kind of thing justice, but, I mean, I could, I could watch, um, I could watch stuff that I would like. Earth power. If only we had special attackers on this squad, because we, uh... We don't. Like, at all. And that is, uh, that is not by design. That is completely by accident. I just want to get that out there. Um, it, it just so happens that the vast majority of Pokemon that I tend to like turn out to be, uh, regular attackers. Like, I think in my, um, in my, like, desired squad, basically... Um, I th oh, he's waving. Hello. Hello. Hi. You're waving at me. Hello. You want to wave? You want, you want to wave again? Okay, bye-bye. I saw you wave, bitch. Don't you try to fucking be that way. Come on. All right. Like, this is the... I don't get it. This is the only mountain, unless... Well, 
I mean, it's okay. Like, we'll pick up items that'll make it worth our time to come over here, but... I want that last copy of Play Rough so that we can have a full, uh... A full three Pokémon that know it. Because I think that would turn out to be, uh... A little useful later on. And, um, I don't know if I'm gonna actually use a Paradox Pokemon or not. Like, whenever we get there, I'll just have to see how I kind of feel. Because, like, there's some good ones in, uh, in Violet. It's just their designs aren't, like, what I exactly look for. But at the same time, though, there's some Pokemon that just go beyond um, design and you just look at them and you're like, this is good, okay? This is just factually good and you cannot ignore it. Like, I wonder... Anybody who watches this far <laughs> or anything like that or anybody um, who may be hiding away on, uh, on the stream right now, like, what is a Pokemon that you, like, objectively are like... This Pokemon is not one that I like aesthetically at all, but I looked at it and I just looked at it in its contents or in its context and I was like, you know what? It's just good. And then you turned out liking it. Um, I'm trying to think of one um, that. Oh, wow. Okay. That's interesting. So the only way you can actually get up to that tower is by literally jumping to each level. That's neat. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Was there one here? Okay. There's not one here. Can I use the ladder now? Okay, yeah. I, I le You legitimately can't use the ladder to climb this one. You have to come in from above and uh it jump on it okay there we go good thunder okay yeah thunder um thunder's not bad thunder i think gets a bad rap because like there are people that um may have played back in the day and they're just like, man, Thunder's just like Fire um, Blast and fucking Blizzard. Actually, you know what I just thought of? Out of those three moves, Fire Blast is objectively the worst. And I'll tell you why, because think about it. If you have snow, um, if you have a snow front out, um, Blizzard becomes 100% accurate. If you have Rain Dance up, Thunder becomes 100% accurate. There isn't a weather condition that makes Fire Blast 100% accurate. You're just... Like, don't get me wrong, it's still as powerful. But... Um, you just... You just can't argue with uh, the other two moves and their ability to just n not miss. <laughs> Like, you could... Okay, like, here's the thing. It would take a very specific Pokemon or a very specific item to make up that, um... That kind of thing. Like, if you had, um... Wide lens on, you could probably make it worth your time. If not, though, I wouldn't bother with it. But then again, this is not coming from somebody who's like, I've had years of battle experience. I'm just saying this from somebody who looks at it um, just as it is on paper, basically. Oh, man. I think I'm starting to go in circles. Circles and circles and circles, circles and circles. I wish they would just have a fucking um, picture of this on uh, Sarah B, like where to get it. Okay, well, you know what? You got me. Okay, it's fine. 
Okay, so we're actually starting to come up on other cliffs. Okay, I think I've seen that cliff, though. Am I gonna have to go onto Google and be all like, which way is east? <laughs> which way is west? Because I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to. Ooh. Quick ball, okay. That's one that I don't have to spend money on. Ah, uh, damn it. Blech. Wait. All right. I mean, I won't say no to Giga Impact. I mean, I'm not gonna use it, but I won't say no to it. Yeah, Giga Impact is just one of those moves that, like, as a kid, you're like, most powerful move ever. It just, it just works house. And then, like, you start really thinking about Pokemon and, like, you really get into, like, how moves work and how accuracy matters. And you think back to all those um, Elite Four members and all the bullshit where it's like, what does it mean it misses? Well, you were using the moves that were, you know, lower accuracy, but more powerful. That was the trade-off. And then you um, realize why um, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, and Flamethrower will be the more desirable attacks, because they're not quite as powerful, but you're going to hit them unless your opponent just has a way to lower your accuracy, of course. To which, I'm not sure if that's really a thing that people try to do anymore. Like, I almost feel like there's not a move that just, like, supremely lowers accuracy that's used competitively. Okay. On a cliff on eastern part of mountain. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's figure this out. Okay, on the eastern part of the mountain. So like around here is what I'm getting. We'll try that. Okay, so I figured it out. Basically, if you're looking at, like, a compass from north, um, east is to your right. Or at least that's what I'm reading through uh, fucking Google Images because I was never a Boy Scout or anything like that, and I was never taught that despite being a good, being a good old southern boy. But then again, I mean, you see me... I'm expounding on Pokemon and how good of a southern boy can I really be if that was something that I did. Okay. Okay, we're just kind of... On the eastern side. I mean, our direction's right. I wish that uh, one thing that um, Maridon could actually do is you like you press a button and like it just goes in the direction or it just points in the direction. It's like, ooh, um, there's a fucking thing over here. Like I think that would be pretty neat. Like I'm surprised that uh, one of the quote unquote abilities that it would get is to the ability to find items. Because that's the only um, ability from Traversal Pokemon, from Pokemon uh, Arceus, that um, Maridon never got. Ooh, is this it? Is this it? Mm, Bug Buzz. I mean, Bug Buzz ain't bad, but it's not what we're looking for. 
Ooh. Oh. Ah! Fucking Jolly-Con desyncing. It's the, uh, it's the one that, it's always the one that controls the camera. Ooh, is this it? Yes, the final copy. Okay. Now we can get us, get into some stuff here in a second. Okay. TM-127. Come on. A little more. There we go. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, let's see. I'm thinking we replace uh, Zen Headbutt because it's a more powerful move. That and Zen Headbutt only, oh, wow, okay. Okay, yeah, so it's more powerful. Um, I don't want to get rid of um, normal typing. Not yet. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's try that. Z needs a good um, stab move that's not going to hurt him in return. Yeah, I think that that's good. I wish that they would bring back the return move. Like, I think that would be really cool. I really liked return. Um, just because it was a uh, pretty consistent uh, move and you just had to make your Pokemon like you. And I think, like, the base um, stat of it could be, or the uh, attack stat of it could be 102, whatever you max it out all the way. And it was uh, 100 accuracy, but that may have been why they got rid of it. It's like, we can't make this into a thing. And at the same time, I'm like, why not? Like, it's not like it's a typed move. It's not like it gets an advantage over anything. So, why not? All right. Um, time to use some candy. Let's see. You know what? Yeah, Cinder goes it. You won uh, the last fight. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see about getting you to the next level. Okay, there we go. Gonna do a medium, and Hero did pretty good too, I have to say. Um, next, Broly. And then we're gonna do... Let's go Uwu. Yeah, might as well. And... Alright, we need uh, some raids, so we're just gonna go ahead and do some raids. I got a... I got a lot of time that I can actually do raids with, so I might as well just stock up now. Only unfortunate thing is that I'm locked into uh, four-star uh, four raids until the game itself is pretty much done. But... We're gonna make it work. We'll make it work. Okay. Well, let's do a bunch of them, and I think we need to get to level like 56. in order to be on uh, equal terms with the uh, last of uh, Team Star's um, captains. So we'll see about that. Oof. Pop it. 
popping it. Oh, that's right. I wasn't able to join. You cack suckers. Why are you trying to test me, bitch? Let's fucking go. Give me a raid. Really? Man, fuck that. I'm not gonna do a fucking two-star, man. Yeah. Yeah, make it worth my fucking time. No offense, but Jesus. Like, you're really gonna do somebody like that? Okay, we can check new postings here in a second. Make sure you don't disconnect and be like, Dude, I stepped away willingly. That raid was hot garbage. Why would I want to do that? Oh, a two-star Murkrow. That's really gonna give me the candies that I really fucking need, right? Ooh. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, try for some new listings. Okay. Must see some good ones. Sure. Okay, let's change my Pokemon. Um, actually, not nah, Hero. Hero will work here. Because of, uh, Play Rough. Play Rough, because he's a doggo. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, uh, they're gonna do the whole imposter ditto thing, I guess? That's all I can think of. Um, yum, 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 yum. Alright, come on. Bring it. Let's do this. Oh, uh, they got Backscalibur in there, so this shit's over. And they got Tinkaton. I don't even care who the last Pokemon is. Come on, guys, we're gonna fucking go. Did the last person decide to go take a shit? Wait a minute, that's not even an excuse because you could take the switch with you. So the last person's just an asshole, that's great. Fucking perfect, man. Just... Awesome. Thank you. Fuck. For the love of God, I was about to be all like, are we gonna do this or not? Let's take down this ludicrous bird. We waited all this time for a Crabominable. 
Okay, man. All right. Oh. Shit. Ah. Oh. Of course, my attack gets avoided. And then this motherfucker with the Crabominable hasn't even done anything yet. He literally... He literally just AFK'd. He's an asshole. I'm gonna hone claws. Nice. Yeah, the dude fucking AFK. That's bullshit. Fuck that thing. Wait, did he finally do something? I can't tell. I wish there was a way that you could report a player, honestly, for some shit like that. That's bullshit. Like, see... See, like, what the situation that I did a second ago, I just backed out. Because I was like, I don't want this. But, like, for them to be all like, Oh, but if you just fucking don't do anything, you're okay. Like, what kind of backwards-ass logic is that? <laughs> Alright. So that took way longer than it needed to. Let's see if we can get into another one. No, I don't want to give you a name. You're going into the box. And you're probably never coming out. Is that kind of brutal? Maybe. But. It's honest. I'm, I'm not going to use it. More than likely. Like, it's got some unique stuff to it, but I don't think it all comes together. Let's try this. Come on. I wish it would go a little bit faster in telling you if um, if you were going to be going to be able to be part of the raid or not. Like, just go ahead and tell me, man. Like that way, I can like try random again now that I can actually do that. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's a pretty cool little mount that they got for uh, watching uh, Twitch streamers. For uh, World of Warcraft. I have to try that at some point. Yeah, let's, let's just stay on this and we can probably do it. And... We didn't get knocked out, so we'll just do that. All right, just confirm it. Just confirm it, and we'll go. We gonna go? Wow! These guys actually went ahead and did it. Like, they, you know, have stuff to do. Ain't that nice? Okay, so that was what it was the entire time. I was wondering what that silhouette was, because I'd seen it a couple of times. I was like, what the fuck is it? Ooh. 
Let's get fucked up. Yeah, hero avoided the attack. Fuck you, guy. Ooh, I delivered the last attack. Okay. I mean, they want, they want me to do that. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I think just uh, eh, you know what, nest ball actually works kind of good for the color scheme. It's kind of greenish, and it does have brown on it. It was either that or an Ultra Ball, but, like, if I'm going to be honest about it, like, I mean, I won't use it. Especially, uh, since they were like, hey, remember that big gimmick that we introduced in the last game? You know, Gigantamaxing and Dynamaxing? Yeah, that doesn't exist anymore, so all the uh, Pokemon that we made special by um, including a form like that for them, um, yeah, um, they are uh, now meaningless. And uh, lost in the shuffle. Congratulations! But, here's the thing though. At least if they get rid of Terastalizing, it's not gonna be, like, as noticeable. Because there isn't, like, Pokemon that when they terastalize, like, their actual form changes or anything like that. So, yeah, I mean, like, the only thing that's really going to be noticeable is if you put in time to, like, change your Pokemon's um, Terra-type to something that you wanted it to be. And that's going to be it. Like, that's, like, that's going to be the only, like, time wasted or anything like that. But, um, I still think that we really need to, um, I think we really need, at some point, a game that incorporates every single gimmick. Like, I think that would be really cool. Let's see. Do we have something? Yeah, we do. Chungus. We're bringing back somebody to take this fucker on from uh, from the champion team. By the way, I'm shocked at how um, tiny um, Iron Treads is because we just saw him on the, the screen a second ago. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm really shocked. And how tiny he is because the thing is is that um i think i took i think i looked at iron treads um the uh one that used to be the titan and i was like wait a minute so it's random if the actual pokemon size is all the way up and i think i caught it took it over to um the uh person and then um, they told me, like, oh, this is the max size. I'm like, it's tiny, especially compared to Iron Tusk at maximum size. But um, someone did mention something that may kind of be akin to that. And it's one of the... And ironically, it's one of the most, like, clever things I've ever heard. They were like... It's cool how the ancient Pokemon are so big, but the futuristic Pokemon seem to get kind of smaller, kind of like technology. And I'm like... Shit. They're right. So that could explain why Iron Treads is so... almost comically small. Yeah, I think Dusk Ball goes good with that color scheme. But yeah, I, I never thought of it um, in that way. But, um, I mean, it works. 
Although I would like to have um, that Pokemon be as tall as um, my trainer. Something else I wouldn't have minded either is um, like just mm, actually it wouldn't work. Another thing about it, the physiology uh, wouldn't work. I was like, I want uh, Great Tusk to be able to roll up into a ball. And then I'm like, wait a minute. His tusks are way too big and way too out in order for him to actually roll up. And uh, just roll around and stuff. So I guess... Um, so I guess uh, Iron Tusk is a Dawn fan uh, in ancient times before its tusks adapted so that it could actually roll itself into a ball and travel around which is neat it really is let's give everybody a large see if uh anybody learns something because now it's at least one level for each of these let's see what cinder goes wants to learn focus energy nah you're good with your stuff. Trust me. There we go. And let's... Yeah, we need Cinder Goza up. Okay. Let's see. We can do a couple of more raids. I may take a break here in a little bit, to be honest. And I may or may not go back into uh, Pokemon uh, for the day. I may do uh, Warframe. Just because I want to um, I want to mix it up a little bit and not get bored. Because, like, I don't know what it was, but today it was kind of a battle just to, just to get to where I wanted to uh, stream. But I think it's kind of like, okay, hear me out. I think it's kind of like going to the gym for me. Um, if, okay, let's say... You, after work, um, you're going to be like, okay, I'm going to go home, I'm going to get my gym clothes on, and then I'm going to hop in, I'm going to go to the gym. Okay? But here's the thing, though. Is that if you go home to go get your gym clothes, you are giving yourself an op... Oh, my God. You are giving yourself an opportunity... To not go to the gym. So, me and somebody else have the exact same hairstyle and color. That is interesting. Um, yeah, you're giving yourself the opportunity to not go to the gym. An excuse not to go. Because you may get back and you may be all like, Oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm already here and I'm a little tired, so... So what I decided to actually do was I made it to where I wouldn't be able to have that excuse. So what I do is I pack my gym clothes in my gym bag and I go directly from work to the gym. So there's no chance of me being able to basically find an excuse for myself to actually, um, you know, not do it. Um, the thing about streaming, though, is I haven't figured out a way to exactly do that yet. And it hasn't necessarily become a thing that's like the gym for me at the point that it is, because going to the gym, for me, is a very natural thing now. Like, I feel... I feel bad if I don't go after a certain amount of days. Like, for instance, I wanted to go today, but um, I kind of messed up my wrist 
um, not too long ago. So I'm like, okay, we're going to do every other day until this works itself out. Um, so this is... Um, so this is the day that I'll rest, and tomorrow I'll actually go. But um, if it continues, I'm probably going to go like to GNC or something like that. Not GNC, but uh, like Dick Sporting Goods or something like that, and probably get myself like an actual wrist brace to use. And not only for the purpose of lifting, but also for the purpose of like just casually moving or moving it around at work. Because like if I move it certain ways it can um it can aggravate it it's not like it broke anything or anything like that i'd um i'd consider it almost like like a mild sprain or something like that like a very mild sprain because i can like look full range of motion everything like that just like if i move a certain way actually feels pretty good right now so maybe tomorrow is the day that i can you know start doing it um unimpeded Tomorrow's gonna be chess day because uh, Jesus Christ, I I'm bad about chest. Like my arms and my shoulders look pretty good, but it's my chest that is so lacking. Um, and I hate doing it, so I gotta come up with a uh, a routine that I like for my chest. Oh, okay, this is. Oh, man, someone's bringing Great Tusk along. Fuck yeah, man. I love that dude, whoever that is. Do we have anything that has ground attacks? Anything that has good ground attacks? Let me be more specific. Yes, we do. Johnny Sins. <laughs> I almost forgot that that's a, that's a Pokemon that we have is Johnny Sins. If you know, you know. <laughs> there we are. All right. All right, let's do this. Oh, you know something uh, randomly that I'm really excited about is uh, gas prices are actually going down around here. And um, as someone who drives, um, I don't know if anybody knows much about cars, but as someone who drives a uh, Armada, um, that's pretty fucking good. And I have to drive like a um, about 20 minutes every day back and forth if we work. And the fact that, like, it's going down is so good. Because I think it's, like, two... Like, I think it's, like, 260-something, like, around one of the places, which is great. Like, I'm just hoping that it holds. But then again, since I've said it on stream, it probably... <laughs> that's probably the, um, that's probably the luck that I'm gonna have, is that, like, because I... Because I mentioned anything about it, it's not gonna hold. Ooh, okay, we're getting this Doug Trio. Damn! Is there anything left of them? You alright, man? You doing okay there, bud? Dang, I just thought about it. Like, this is. Almost the perfect typing for a Doug Trio. There's only the question of does Doug Trio learn anything um, that would be good for uh, its typing? Or for its terror typing? Like, does it learn any electric attacks? Like, I don't know. Paldea Pokedex. Let's see if we can find that out real quick. I'm really curious. 
I mean, I know that most of these are random, but like that typing, that Terra typing would be so good if he could take advantage of it offensively too. Like defensively, it's pretty good. But what if, you know? Okay, let's see. Yeah, it can't learn anything um, that's electric type. So it's a purely defensive terror type, which, I mean, that's a thing that can exist. Let's see, let's send you to the... Well, tell me about yourself, bud. Evasiveness in a sandstorm. Hmm. Maybe one day. You're a fuzzy little guy, too. You got little fur textures. That's cute. Okay. Bye-bye. They are cute. I like them in this game. I don't know why, particularly in this game, but for some reason, they're... Those little guys... They're cute. Wugtrio's not cute, though. Wugtrio's a bunch of creepy penises. Can we get to... There we go. Let's see. There we go. Cinder goes uh... Let's keep it going. That's kind of neat. Yeah, we probably won't be finishing uh, the game in this uh, stream. I'll probably have to change the actual archive um, name of the stream. Oh, wow. That's... That's neat. Okay. Actually, hold up. Yeah, we do need to change Pokemon. <laughs> um, we're changing to Uwu. Because Uwu would be perfect for this. Because play rough. Oh god, yeah, this thing's dead. This thing is super dead. <laughs> because we have um, fucking Fluttermane. We have Skeledurge. And we might have a cute little pony. Depending on who this person decides to pick. Pick something! Pick something. We can keep on going, yay! Oh wow, shiny Flutterman too. Oh, that's okay. I don't know. Like it could grow on me, I guess. Ooh. Going straight for the fire blast, I see. Oh. That thing's fucking dead. <laughs> that thing. That thing's dead, man. On the off chance that you are a huge one. It's Christmas! Oh Jesus. What is it? Yeah, fuck, that's right. Today, um, Elden Ring got the, um, Coliseum update. Which I was, um, I always thought, like, that has to be coming, man. <laughs> There's no way that it's not. Because, I mean, you have these big Coliseums, and there's nothing to them, but, like, data miners were able to find them... 
they're, they're doing something with them. Let's see. Let's see what your summary is. Send to the box. All right. Oh, boom. Sandragosa finally becomes the dragon that she was born to fucking be. Hell yeah. Sandragosa is now a Salamence. It becomes uncontrollable if it is enraged. It destroys everything but shredding claws and fire. Hell yeah. Wants to learn the move fly. That? That might be pretty good because one of its stabs is flying. Um, yeah, we could replace Crunch for now. I mean, that sounds good. Let's see how big Cindergoza is because she's um she's not double extra large, but she's an extra large. Oh, she's a big one. She's a big old gal. Hello. Hi. Hello. Why won't you respond to me? Hello. Rawr. Rawr. She can keep up with us for sure. We. Yeah, now our team's fully evolved. We're gonna die. Except we're not. Ow. Fuck, I bit the inside of my cheek. Hate when that happens, don't you? See if we can get a little, little picnic started. Let's see, got to get everybody else up now. Go ahead and get the ones that are close. Wants to learn to move jaw lock. Yes, that's borderline a signature move. Yeah, and prevents the opponent from switching out. That is, I mean, it's, it's a new move. I mean, it's not going to come into play, like, in the regular playthrough, but it's still pretty cool to have. Like, it's something that's not crunch. All right. Well, you know what? I think that's going to do it for right now, because I still have a good bit of grinding to do, and I'm not going to... I'm not going to waste time in um, just perpetually grinding um, for through the whole stream. So I'm just going to cut it here. And whenever we get back into it, I'll have everybody up to level 56. And we should be able to just take on the rest of the game at that point. I'm pretty sure. Like, maybe. We'll see. But anyway... I want to thank everybody who wound up um, coming in, Zachary Zoom and Mia Davis 77. I'll take a look at the message, but I can't promise anything. Um, but um, I'll probably be on um, a little bit later today doing some World of Warcraft, because like I said, I need to seriously get... Um, I guess my uh, financial state in Warframe in order so that whenever um, so that whenever Daviri Paradox does come um, I can get maybe some special little cosmetic things or who knows what all they're going to include because like from my understanding basically like going off of what they said it seems like they put in more than what they thought they were going to. Like, they had more ideas and they may have just implemented them in and then they were like, we have to wait. 
because we just came up with a whole bunch of shit. Like, that's what I got from it. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in a couple of hours. Peace. Disgusting. I don't think she shit for I think she just Homie, oh, I think it's time we look into a home. I think we're getting too old. There's, no. there's something that's obviously involuntary take a home and so you a purpose for a joke. He's obviously like it's involuntary, right? Yeah, he's a sick little fuck, you're right. Gee, he's a fucking horrible jerk. <laughs> he's a horrible man. He's a horrible freaky character. What's that the worst thing Homer Simpson could, could say oh, to? Uh, um, <laughs> shouldn't say it yeah, on the well, channel. Yeah, 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 yeah. we could. What the two edge you're just doing? <laughs> well, you just asked what the <laughs> worst one would be. There's yeah. lots that we probably could have built up right what's now. What's the worst that could feasibly happen in the show? <laughs> what, like PG 13 with the worst could be? God damn it! No, 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 like, uh, not PG 13, but like. Well, that's what The Simpsons is. It's like Simpsons is made up. I don't know what the episode Tumblr says on bullshit. Does he? Does he? No, he doesn't, you he fucking does. liar. He does he liar. liar. That's fucking real. That's liar. real. Lisa. Zach's playing. Zach is zeroed in. <laughs> they call him zeroed in Zach because he's one always... Of, one of my favorite vids is still Ted Cruz doing Homer Simpson and Lisa Simpson. Wait, is he really? Yeah, what? she what? does Lisa and... What? You must have seen this before. I forgot. No. I don't know what the fuck Mr. Burns. It's Mr. Burns. I know it's Mr. Burns. Kristen, best impression of Mr. Burns on the roof. <laughs> I'm on the roof. <laughs> Excellent. <friend. laughs> Actually, I'm sorry, we're in the basement. Let's just do it. Let's do it. They don't feed me so. No, everything is, uh, mm. everything's kind of weird. Well, I just want to make it clear that was the voice I just did was not an Asian accent. That was my impression of Homer Simpson. Yeah, okay, dude. You don't have the right key card for that. <laughs> Here. I'll challenge you to a homer off. Okay. I know I have homer off. 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 Okay, tell me who won that round. <laughs> Neither? I, okay, I think you guys can both do better homers. No, 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 no,
Yeah. This is season 32, episode <laughs> one. All right, you be Marge. All right, do your real best Marge. We'll do our real best Homer. Yeah. So, establishing shot in the house. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, it doesn't do that for the establishing shot, yeah. does it? <laughs> yeah, it does that. Yeah. And then we hold that for five seconds in silence, and then we cut in. Mm -hmm. And Homer is on the couch, and Marge walks in. He's holding a duff brew. Yeah. And he's not smiling at all, he's just kind of sitting here with the TV off. Homer, are you and I gonna assemble that hat rack sitting in the living room? You assume you can talk to me? We don't ever talk to us because then you get into the circle of the Oh my god, there's two homies! That's right, there Let's is. get this straight, you yes. fucking. Yes, that's right. I cloned myself this morning. <laughs> I'm sick, of, I'm sick of you yelling at me and telling me I'm lazy or good for nothing. No, that was me. You're the clone. Oh, that's right. That was me. You showed me I did. Technically, you have all of the memories I have I have been you with you. I feel like I agree with you. Uh oh. And now, bud. Homie, oh, you violated international law by cloning yourself. This I is a big have deal. Done some -ish. Yes. But it's can a, you prove it? The eyes it's of so. the law. Yes, I have violated. <laughs> Of God, I am amongst him. I am a God myself in some ways. Homie, that sounds like cult leader talk. Yes, yes, it does, doesn't it? Maybe you should join me at Institute. <laughs> Maybe if you close yourself, you will see the ways. Oh, fuck. Maybe her uh, vlogging pays for that kid's uh, heart Down surgery. Plan? Dental plan. Lisa needs braces. Just got me to crack him. Turn on two Lisa in the main braces. breaker. Lisa needs braces. Dental plan. Lisa needs braces. That's what the episode does. It does it like 50 times. It does it a lot of times in the episode. I love that. Dental plan. You know, I've seen like a million Simpsons clips, and I think I've seen about 15 episodes collective. Like, like actually sat down and watched like 15 episodes. Really? Wait, really? Yeah. yeah. I thought you said you watched through all of the classic seasons. I've seen like I at some point way back when I started watching like season two, three, four. Those are the best. You know, I, you know, I have watched more. I just forgot most of them. But I'm saying like in recent years, I feel like I can remember in totality. Seasons two through eight. That's all you need. I remember I watched one episode from season eight, and I was like, this show is already kind of jumping yeah, the shark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like yeah, episode where, like, Marge gets involved with the mafia. I don't even know what yeah, the fuck. Yeah, everyone always says, like, seasons one to ten were the best. It's like, no, by season eight, it's going downhill, and then ten, it's really going downhill. Yeah. I think most TV shows, most anime shows especially, ten years is about all you can do anything for. Probably most shows less, but, like, yeah. <laughs> Let's run into episode of Simpsons where Val defeats this guy, right? <laughs> okay. A new episode of The Simpsons? Yep. Why did you do like a Mexican fart? Uh, uh, Bumblebee Man. That's the episode. That's the episode. Oh, yeah. yeah you... The episode is that Bumblebee Man becomes Bart dies and <laughs> Bumblebee <laughs> Man becomes Bart. They Bart because they're mourning and they're in such grief. He shows up at Bart's funeral. You know what time we had a you nice chat? Yeah. Ah. You know what time I talked to Bart and uh, I think I got the gist of him. I think I can beat him. <laughs> He only says one thing in Spanish, so I think I can handle it. He says one thing in Spanish, so I'm basically the Bart. Okay. Bart! Bart is back to life! This is just, just as good as not better! Bart has been resurrected as a mimic, and Bart is talking a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> talking a lot of sense. And then, and then, and He's then. convinced me on many a thing! <laughs> that is my child! I know you are my boy! <laughs> And then, and then we cut to, and then we cut to the road of the Simpsons car, the iconic Simpsons car driving. Wait, 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 what, what are the seven stages of grief? There's like one of them is delusion. What is, uh, <laughs> delusion. delusion, fear, hatred, bigotry. <laughs> fucking, he, he fucking, like, targets the Simpsons while they're all deluded. Yeah, And yeah. he preys on them. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, there's still a denial base. I think the first one was denial. <laughs> That's it, not delusion. Yeah, they're, they're all in denial, and, uh, and... You're deluded! And then we cut... We cut then to the Simpsons car driving, and uh, of course Homer and Marge in the front. In the back seat, we see Bumblebee Man ripping out Lisa's hair, and, and Homer goes, and Homer goes, stop, you know, Bert, just leave your seat there. And, she, and he's being way too rough with her. He's actually kind of hurting her. She's got bruises and welts all over her arms and shit. He's <laughs> pinching her really hard. Right here. He's got like a smile on his face, so he kind of enjoys it. He's like, fuck you. It's like the good song where <laughs> Marge yells at Lisa for it. Lisa, stop antagonizing yeah, your Lisa, brother. Lisa, leave your brother alone. Your no, brother Mom, just came back. back. Lisa, we thought he was dead. We thought he was dead. Isn't no, you'd be nice to him. You'd be nice to your new 
bark browser. I got him. And he squeezes her on the head. He's laughing. Yeah, I ain't never gonna get in trouble. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
just like the idea. I was just bullying the world. I like the idea of the one who's like, Allie Dilly is like the most famous <laughs> one. <laughs>
talking to Wall and he's like, yeah. <laughs> Like employees ain't gonna have you know that extra nice little day off. 
god, no, go <laughs> away from the mic. What? <laughs> yeah, make him, make him just do it over and over in a big crowd. <laughs> Jeez, this is too long. <laughs> Peter Griffin playing Mario World. Peter Griffin playing Mario World. Welcome back to 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 Peter Griffin playing Mario World. I beat Mario. Mario's a bloody fool.